If you're here for the long term, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to be talking about eBay feedback and what you can do to remove that negative feedback that you did manage to get on your store. Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And as mentioned in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to also eliminate that negative feedback that you did manage to get on your dropshipping stores. One second before that, if you are new to a YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world when it comes to anything and everything, case studies, which products you need to sell, marketplaces, suppliers, and so much more. Hit that subscribe button and let's begin. So I'm removing a negative feedback as we speak on eBay. I want you guys to see exactly how it is done. In this case, a buyer left negative feedback after trying to return an item after the 30 day window passed. So I tried explaining to this buyer that it's too late to return this item, the 30 day window passed, I'm really sorry. Next time, if there's anything wrong with your product, we ask no questions if you want to return it, but it needs to be in that 30 day return window or whatever you set in your eBay business policies. Now, this buyer chose not to understand that and they just went and left negative feedback. Before that, they opened a case. So the first thing they did was reach out to me in eBay messages, letting me know that they want to return this product. After I let them know that it's not a possibility since the time has passed, they opened a return case on eBay and tried their luck. I declined that return on eBay's case. eBay gives you that option as long as the 30 days or whatever you have on your business policies as long as those days have passed, you can simply decline the case and you won't have to supply a return label. So after I declined the return case, the buyer simply left a negative feedback on my account and here it is, the one negative feedback from today from June 2nd. I'm just blurring it a little bit so you won't have an idea of the product because I have enough dropshippers taking the products that I'm selling, so please don't mind that. What they're saying here mainly is that they tried to return an item but since 30 days have passed, the seller wouldn't cooperate with me and now they're mad and blah blah blah. What I did was simply reach out to eBay and let them know, hey, I did everything according to the rules. I have my business policies. I have no problem with returns, as you can see on my account seller history. Let me just show you the chat window instead of explaining it. So I let them know this buyer left negative feedback after ordering this product. That was not the right size for him. The item listing is correct. The buyer didn't simply didn't notice the dimensions of the product. So the eBay representative said, okay, I will check it out for you. I understand your concern that you want negative feedback removed. Please do not worry. I will do my best to help you. Of course, I, I let them know they ordered the wrong size. You can see my history. I have no problem with returns as long as they comply with the business policies. So the eBay representative told me, could I ask for two minutes to investigate this for you? I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. So I wrote, of course. And then I also wrote another message. Note that they also opened a return case which I had to decline since 30 days have passed. They replied with negative feedback. Although I tried explaining the situation in eBay messages, the buyer chose not to understand. So if a buyer opens a case against you and you win the case as a seller, they cannot leave a negative feedback for you. Or in other words, they can, but you can have it removed. And this was the trigger here. So he told me, please do not worry. I'm looking into it. And thank you for sharing that additional information. I told him, thank you. I'm here. I'm looking into the case, no problem, let me know how I can assist. So I'm trying to always show eBay that I'm on their side, which is true. And then just a couple of minutes later, or on that same minute, he wrote, I'm removing it. So I told him, thank you, I appreciate it. Then he wrote, I have removed it. It will get removed in the next 24 to 48 hours. Is there anything else I can do for you? I said, that will be all, I truly appreciate it. And that is that. I'm glad I was able to explain the situation clearly for you. Thank you for, eBay, for using eBay. I wish good health for you. So all of this chat is going to go into my email address now, but I wanted to show you guys this chat window while I still have it open because it just happened in the past five minutes. So I really hope that this will help you out understanding how you can remove some of the negative feedbacks that you are getting. This is only one scenario. I just refreshed the page and it didn't take 24 to 48 hours. It just took a couple of minutes. As you can see now, I have zero negative feedbacks from the last 30 days. And just a minute ago, just look at the background of the screen, you would have seen that I had one. That was the one feedback that I just removed from my store. So there you have it. That's how I removed a real live negative feedback that I got this morning on my eBay store. Those are the exact same steps that I took and that is what I did to remove it using the eBay chat. Now you can also call eBay on the phone. This method usually works the best because they don't record their calls. But if you do chat with them or reach out to their support online, they have a log of all of your attempts to do something, to take a certain action like remove a negative feedback or increase your seller limits. So if you do not succeed through chat or through the email, 
you will have a hard time to get that certain action done. That's why I definitely recommend to use the phone. In this case, I did know that I will get the negative feedback removed because the buyer is in the wrong here. He opened the case, a return. After the return, window has already closed. Try to do something that he can according to eBay's policies. I declined the return and then he left a negative feedback. eBay knows that that one is not deserved. So I really hope that you found this video informational. Use the personal experience that I showed you in this video. Not a lot of people are doing that. And do keep in mind that a lot of service providers are taking a lot of money from passing on all kinds of important information that they use when they're providing these services for you, like removing negative feedback or increasing your positive feedback. So all of this information is so that you guys can really take your dropshipping stores to the next level go for it for the long term get a lot of positive feedbacks like you saw on my own personal ebay account that really helps in the long run i've had this store for over four years and i'm pretty sure that i'm going to have it for the next four and the next four after that because i am working long term and getting a ton of positive feedback is one of the ways to get your dropshipping stores to the long term survivability and profiting really hope you enjoyed this video once again if you are new subscribe to our youtube channel because this is the kind of value that we're giving to you along with so much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.